Good morning, everybody. How are you? I'm good this morning. Tired. It's hump day. I don't know why I'm waking up tired. I think we need another mattress. It's a mess. I think that's what it is. I think the mattress done lost this spring and it's spry. And I wake up in the morning and feel like I'm bent over like some old woman. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm 52 years old, but I should still be standing up straight when I wake up in the morning. And I be wake up like I'm extra tired. I think it's time for a new mattress. Anyway, I want to come on here and say good morning and welcome to my channel. My channel, not channel. If you haven't been here before, I would like to extend a warm welcome and ask that you rate, share, and subscribe. And please comment in the box below. Everybody out there afraid to talk to me. What's going on? Am I boring or something? Trying to be light, trying to be fun, trying to be airy. So I'm cleaning up the kitchen right quick before I go to work. Um, and wanted to come on. I had a few minutes to come on and and um just remind you all to do the best you can do today. Take it one day at a time. Don't try to go overboard and uh show out. Do what you can do. Don't try to impress anybody. Do what you can do. Take it one day at a time. What's that song? One day at a time, sweet Jesus. That's all I'm asking of you. Just take one day at a time. That's it. Just one day at a time. Don't try to go overboard and get yourself all caught up in some stuff and can't get out of it. If you see yourself slipping, take a breather, walk away. That's what I'm going to try to do. Take a breather and walk away. All the suggestions that I'm giving you, I work on too. Okay, so this is a journey for us together because I'm the first one that'll pop off in situations. So I'm giving us all advice. I'm taking my advice too because I can be a nasty little something too. And it's not always good, you know. A soft answer turns away wrath, the Bible says, you know. So, in Psalms, I don't know the exact scripture. I need to get my scriptures together. But a soft answer turns away wrath. And sometimes my answers are not always soft, you know. And sometimes I'll start the question. And then I'll answer it too. So, I know how it is to, you know not always be able to walk away. I know that. I'm not saying do something. I'm not asking you all to do something that I that I can that I can always do cuz I can't. It's a it's a journey. It's a it's a job, you know what I'm saying? It's a process to get there. You know? Um So just remember to take it one day at a time. Try not to be stressed aggravated, you know, going to work, working with all these different personalities and these different spirits and these uh, people that's bent on causing you trouble and making your day miserable, you know, laugh at them. <laughs> and keep it moving. And I'm going to try to do the same thing. I'm not going to promise that I can, but all we can do is try. That's all we can do is try. That's it. And let the Lord take care of the rest. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you feel like, I just want to give up. I can't go no further. It's been so long. That's where I'm at right now in certain situations in my life. I feel like it's just been so long. I can't do this no more. You know, when is this going to end? You know, when is it going to be my turn? People stand back and look at me. I'm going to say me because I don't know you all situations. But people stand back and look at me and think that I'm not going through anything, you know. And believe me, I'm not patting myself on the back. I'm not conceited. I'm not prideful or anything like that. But I've had people to say, you know, you look like you got everything going, to, going, you know, on okay. You look like you got everything going, you know, in the right direction. You know, you got yourself together. You know, you got your, your, your apartment, your luxury apartment, you're married, you know. You know, you're not bad looking, you know, you got ha the hair, you got, you, you, you know, you like the bling bling, you got the new car, you know, you got the, the, 
just things in, in your life. I'm using material things because this is what people have said to me. It's not me. But like I tell them, you know, everybody has a situation. Everybody has problems. I don't care how the next person look. I've seen some women and men that look like they had it going on. They look like, oh, my God, nothing bothers them. I've had people to say, it don't look like nothing bothers you. When I tell my testimony and I sit down and I tell them what I'm going through up until today, we have issues, you know, marriage issues, personal issues, work-related issues. I am just like everybody else. I'm on here giving encouragement, but it goes for myself too, you know. You practice what you preach. That's what I'm trying to do, you know. And um, I was having a gripe session last night. And my mother was like, you know, you was talking positive this morning on your channel. I was like, yeah, but, you know, I have the moments. You know, Kings was like, well, we have to believe the Lord. You know, the Lord is going to do this and the Lord does that. You know, we know how the Lord is. And, you know, I was like, uh, -huh, okay. I'll wait. That's how I felt. You know, that's how I felt. And the Lord knows we have these feelings. You know, people say, don't get mad at God. You can't be getting mad at God. Everybody have these feelings. He said, get angry and sin not. I did not curse him. But I, I have some issues that I'm talking to him about, you know. And I know um, Kingsley constantly encourages me, you know, you know, don't feel that way. Let's pray. You know, that's the praying is man, and he wake up to fast. Let me tell y'all that. He will turn down his food in a heartbeat. That's why he all slim like Leon on the five heartbeats, and I'm all wide and spread out like Nell Carter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying. Because uh, he'll turn down his plate in a minute. I'm always... But back in the day, I didn't do that, you know, so I need to get that under control. It's just things that we all have issues with, all of us, you know. Some things you can fix and some things you can't fix. Like I said, if you're heavy, go on a diet. If your teeth is jacked up, go to the dentist. If your hair coming out, treat it. Go to a beautician or get the things and treat it yourself. Um, if your face is dry, lotion it. If your nails are jacked up, you know, go to the, to, to get, get, excuse me, Stacy, all the way up there on the cabinet. If your nails are jacked up, go to the nail salon. Your feet jacked up, get a pedicure, you know. Buy some makeup, buy some lip gloss, a little bit of blush, some eyelashes. Draw some eyebrows in if you don't have none. It's things that we can fix. But then when there's things that you can't fix, that's where I personally get aggravated with because I'm praying, I'm fasting, I'm seeking the Lord, asking for help. And sometimes I don't always seem like I'm getting the help that I need or want. And maybe that's the help that I need and I do that I'm supposed to have. I don't know. Um, but I'm just saying we all have problems. Don't look at the next person and judge them and think they have it all together that is going on perfectly for them. Don't get on Facebook and look at everybody live and look on YouTube at everybody's life and think, oh, my God, they got a perfect, that's the perfect relationship, that's the perfect marriage, that's the perfect house, that's the perfect home. doesn't work that way. You don't know what the next person is doing to go and have them things. You know what I'm saying? Some people got a good job and education. Others don't. They work and they have to get the same things. You can have the same things that somebody else has. You might have to just go about it differently. When I was coming up, my mother had a beautiful apartment. We lived in New York City. We lived in the projects, you know. We used to live in Bermuda, had a housekeeper. The man was rich and everything. My mother and him split. She got saved, went back to the States, and we lived in the projects. But it was a nice project. It was full of Jewish people, rarely any other um, race. And so it was really nice and upkept. And she had a two-bedroom, and it was beautiful. Marble tables, carpet, you know, just for the 70s, it was beautiful. And this woman that had more children than her, she had like 14, 15 children. My mother had one. And she was married, but her husband drank a lot and ran the street. I'm not putting them down. I'm just saying this is the story. 
She went to the pastor of the church and she was like, I want to have what Diane has. Now, mind you, my mother worked. And a lot of times she worked two jobs, okay? She was a secretary and she did other things. You know, she just always worked. An executive secretary, she worked part-time. She always worked, so we had nice clothes and things like that. It wasn't always like that. You struggled, you know, because she was with a man who had money, and then she went on her own, okay? So, and depending on the Lord, he took care of us. I'm not going to lie, he did. Um, he's not always the quickest at it, but he does it. So, she went to the pastor and was like, I want to be like Diane. Why my apartment can't be like her? Why I can't have all that? Now, this woman got 15 children. She don't work, and her husband is in the street. That's why. Go get a job and use layaway. Okay? So, the pastor told her, oh, you can have what Diane had, but it's going to take you a little longer. You know, and that's the truth. She did give her the truth. You can have it when somebody else may can go and get it straight on credit or buy cash. Hey, you can utilize layaway. You know, when somebody else might wear, might wear $50, $60 makeup, you can go to the store and you can spend 20 bucks. That's what I do. I don't believe in spending $50 or $60 for some makeup that I'm going to wash down the drain. Okay? I go to the beauty supply store and I spend all of 20 bucks. And my makeup be flawless. I've had people to ask me what kind of makeup I use. You don't have to have the highest brand. Gentlemen, you don't have to wear the, all the name brand clothes out there. If you want to, fine. If you can, you can. But what you have, clean it, iron it. Groom yourself, and you could be just as fly as the next gentleman out there. Okay? Work with what you have. I had a girlfriend when I was going to school. My daughter was little. She was like five. We was taking the bus. They were taking the bus. And sometimes we would carpool. And Cotton was the only child. So, you know, I had help. My parents, my mom, my grandparents, you know, they helped me with her clothing. So she always looked nice, thank God. But I had another girlfriend who got her kids' clothes from the Goodwill. And she would buy clothes from me that Cotton couldn't wear anymore. So she told me one day that she went to the Goodwill, but you would never know it. I was like, what? She had three children there. And... Her children looked like they was going to the mall because she went to Goodwill, she matched them, she washed them, she starched them. And nobody knew. She just trusted me and told me. And I never shared that because, of course, she was ashamed at the time. But Goodwill is the bomb diggity now. I stay in Goodwill buying odds and ends and candelabras and lamps and things, you know. But back then it was taboo. So I'm going to cut this short. Because it's time for me to leave out and go to work at 7.06 according to my clock. And I need to be to work at 7.45. And y'all know how I do. I have to stop and get breakfast and my caramel frappe and my egg McMuffin. So anyway, keep that in mind, please. Stay prayed up. I stay prayed up. That gets me by. That's how I made it through my darkest time. Now I'm a sinner, and that's no lie. Stay prayed up, stay positive, and keep negative people out of your space. And do for yourself. Don't wait for other people, because you may not ever get anything done.